All right, before I start, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation to you brothers pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Now, the topic of this video is the time is short. All right, um, man, ever since uh, 2024 uh, came in, there's been a lot of news, you know, going out, a lot of judgments. All right, has been going out today. There was a a uh, school shooting, all right, that uh, took uh, place. All right, you got a lot of hysteria, you know, pertaining to the anticipation of this coming election and, you know, just various news topics and, you know, uh, different governments, state legislatures, all right, have to come up with uh, budget shortfalls because they're not bringing in the adequate revenue to take care of their expenses leading to like higher taxes and so on and so forth so this year is shaping up to be a very uh interesting year all right pertaining to prophecy and the scriptures and i just wanted to get in a few scriptures uh before you know i take it down for the night but this is first corinthians uh one and seven no no not one and seven it's like your seven i'll go back down to about the 29th verse maybe 28 yeah 20 29th verse all right this is uh first corinthians 7 and 29 it says but this i say brother now this is the apostle paul writing to the church of corinth all right and this can be applied to the times that we in now as a matter of fact let me put this on uh do not disturb but it says uh but this i say brethren the time is short it remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. All right. So, you know, that that's the mentality, you know, that we have to take on. Like, as you have a woman, it be as though you don't have a woman, you know. Um, but this, this is the point that I wanted to get, go into. Verse 30, it says, And they that weep as though they wept not, and they that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not, you know, your mentality can't really be in the substances that you possess or the things that, you know, you you uh, obtain as though you're going to keep it or have it long term. All right. And even if you weep, you know, because we're in the time of weeping, you know, as though you wept not because look. Salvation of Yahweh Bashim al is on the horizon. The Lord is going to wipe away all tears. All right. And they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. You know, you have a lot of people that are merry. Even though you see the signs, okay, of the society and the Most High is taking the murph out of this place, people are still going to find a way to rejoice. Jake is going to find a way to party. All right. And bullshit, you know. But it says. They that rejoice as though they rejoice not, and they that buy as though they possess not, and they that use this world as not abusing it, all right? Because it says, for the fashion of this world passeth away, all right? So the, the, the fashion of this current world is going to pass away here. The way people conduct commerce, the way agriculture is done, the way people buy food, all right? The way people exchange goods and services. Right, these things are all going to come into a memory. All right. So for you to, uh, uh, you know, keep your mind on your possessions as though this is going to take you forth in a day of wrath is not going to work. All right. You're going to lose. All right. For you to put your uh, mind into your riches. All right, or into your substance that you have. Let me get uh the book of Second Ezra sixteen. Tells you in the book of Second Ezra sixteen. Matter of fact, we'll start at. Let me get. Let me get before I go to Second Ezra sixteen. I'm gonna go to Second Ezra two and thirteen, real quick. Because it says, um, 
Second Ezra 2 and 13, it says, Go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you. All right, so we, we're supposed to be praying for a few days. All right, hastening the coming of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, that he fulfill the judgments that are written of his father, Yahweh. All right, it says, Go and ye shall receive, pray for a few days unto you, that they may be shortened. The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Okay. See, the kingdom of heaven is already prepared. The kingdom of heaven is within us. All right. But the kingdom of heaven, okay, is going to be established with our Lord, Yahweh Shah, being on the throne. All right. Him taking out these current rulers, uh, the, the, these current governments, him destroying their armies. All right. Because that's part of the prophecy, him fulfilling. He's the author and finisher of our faith. All right. It says, take heaven and earth to witness. For I have broken the evil in pieces and created the good. For I live, saith the Lord. So by the heavenly father doing what he said he's going to do and bringing forth the prophecies to pass. All right, the, the, the major part of the prophecies that we have, the major, the last major parts of the prophecy in the scripture that's written is one of them being them implementing implementing the MOTB, all right, that mark, okay, World War Three, which is going to lead to missiles being shot on Babylon the Great, all right, and the Lord delivering the elect of Israel out of the hour of Jacob, or out of the time of Jacob's trouble, all right? Now let me jump to 2nd Ezra 16 real quick. What is this? 13. 16. 2nd Ezra 16. Where is it? Second Ezra 16 and uh I'll start it. I'll start at 39. It says uh Second Ezra 16 and 39 it says, Even so shall not the plagues be slack to come upon the earth, and the world shall mourn, and sorrows shall come upon it on every side. So and that's gonna come suddenly. Okay, sorrows coming upon the earth on every side. All right. Something in which the masses of people or the human family, so to speak, what Esau would call, is not going to expect. All right. It says, oh, my people, hear my word, make you ready to the to thy battle. And in those evils, be even as pilgrims upon the earth, because we're going to have to be on the move. All right. We're going to have to be pilgrims. It says he that selleth, let him be as he that fleeth away. So if you're selling something and you have a, a cart full of merchandise or a store, a storefront, you have to be in that mentality that you can flee away from it or you'll have to flee away from it at any time. All right. And he that buyeth is one that will lose. So the, the, the buyer as though he goes into that store and he buys merchandise and he takes it out of the store and something happens suddenly where. He has to drop all the merchandise he brought to flee for his life. All right. He that occupies merchandise. All right. That's that's the man that has a warehouse or a storehouse full of merchandise as as he that have no profit by it. So here it is. You accumulated all of this merchandise. And you're going to wholesale it. All right. To the sellers. And something happened. An event happens where. The merchandise that you have don't profit. All right, it doesn't bring forth profit because you have no sellers to buy it and resell it. All right, it says, and he that buildeth, as he that shall not dwell therein. So you have the man with that that's building him his dream house. All right, and he's building his dream house, and uh, by the time he finishes and puts the final touches on that dream house, he got to flee away from it. 
All right. He can't dwell in it. He that soweth as if he should not reap. So the you know, man that planted the vineyard and he's waiting to reap. All right. Because he wants to find his wine that cometh out of his vineyard. And he's not going to reap that wine. All right. It says, so also he that planteth the vineyard. All right. As he that shall not gather the grapes. Yeah. It says they that marry as they that shall get no children. So you have the, you know, a, a, a couple that's marrying, you know, just like uh, in the time now, we're in the time the scriptures speak of um, as in the days of Noah. Right? You have people that's getting married and they're anticipating having a beautiful life with, with their uh, significant other. All right. But they have no profit by it because they're not going to have any. They're not going to be able to have any children because of the circumstances of what's going to take place on the earth. It says in they that marry. It says that and they that marry not as the widowers. And therefore, they that labor, labor in vain. All right. So you have the people that's labor and they're going to labor in vain, you know, because there's not going to be any profit that's going to come from, you know, their endeavors. And that's the mentality that we're in. So this, this, this is the best spot for the men of the Lord to be, all right? Because uh, we're going to profit from our labors. And Yahweh Bashim Shah teaching his word. But the world is not going to profit from their endeavors because the Heavenly Father is going to turn this place upside down. All right, let me get uh, real quick. Let's get this. Uh, the book of Matthew. Twenty-four and twenty-two. This is Matthew twenty-four, and I'll start at twenty-one. But the point is in twenty-two. It says, "For then shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, no, nor ever shall be." All right. That's why the laborer, you know, the seller, the buyer, they're not going to profit. All right, that's why the time is short. You know, if you have a wife, be as though you 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 don't have no wife. Why? Because there's going to come a tribulation, a great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning. All right, you have to be focused. All right, you got to be locked in. It says, and except those days should be shortened. All right, these days that we're speaking of, that great tribulation. And except those days be short. And that's why Yahweh Bashim al Shah, the scriptures say that Yahweh Shah shall come quickly like a thief in the night. Because these days have to be short. And why? Because it, there, it says, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be short. Because there's going to be a lot of death. All right, it's going to be a lot of death. All right, the, the, the air is going to be polluted. You know, the, uh, uh, there's going to be pestilences. There's going to be famine. All right? It's going to be so much terror and so much destruction upon the earth that if this thing is not trans transitioned quickly away from this devil Esau Edom, the humankind will go extinct. All right. Humankind will go extinct. Now, let me leave you with, the, with this last scripture real quick. This is the book of uh, Job. 36 and uh, I'll read uh, 17 on down a little bit. Job, uh, matter of fact, let's start at 15. It says, uh, He delivereth the poor in his affliction and openeth their ears in oppression. And that's what the Lord have done. He's opened up our ears in oppression. All right, what, who we be impressed, oppressed in Babylon throughout the world, the Israelites. It says, even so would he have removed thee out of the strait into a broad place where there is no straightness, and that which should be set on thy table should be full of fatness. That represents the kingdom. All right. It says, uh, but thou hast fulfilled the judgment of the wicked. Judgment and justice take hold on thee. Because there's a appointed time that the wicked is going to rule and there's a time where the Lord is going to fulfill his words by taking this devil out of power. All right. It says, because there is, is wrath, beware lest he take thee away with his stroke. 
then a great ransom cannot deliver thee. Will he esteem thy riches? No, not gold, nor all the forces of strength. Desire not the night when people are cut off in their place. And we're in the night right now. All right. And the night is synonymous with darkness. OK. And this is where the Lord is going to cut the people off in their place. And it's going to come suddenly. All right. It says, uh, take heed, regard not iniquity. For this has thou chosen rather than affliction. Yeah, because the masses of the people, especially our people. All right. They regard iniquity rather than suffering the affliction of the heavenly father. Because um, there's a scripture um, that King David said. He said, uh, I, have, I believe, therefore I have spoken. Therefore I was greatly afflicted. Because this word, when you speak this word of Yahweh Bashim Yahushah, you become afflicted. All right? you be, you, you're cast out. All right? you're, you're, you become an enemy. All right? You're not a friend of the world. And the scriptures say that the love of the, of the world is enmity with the Heavenly Father. All right? But the Heavenly Father, let me read this real quick, 22. It says, um, Behold, the Most High exalted by His power who teaches like Him. So this is a lesson, you know, that we're in the process of learning, you know, from going from uh, the wickedness of this society to the, to the righteous, okay, of the world to come. And we had to know both sides by going through it, all right? We know the consequences of turning our back on our living power, our living God. All right. But the time is short in which the Lord is going to transition this society from this current corrupt uh, society to uh, the righteousness to come. Matter of fact, let me get this last scripture since I'm in 2nd Ezra. So let's go to 2nd Ezra 7. The second Ezra 7 and 43. I'll end with this. It says, um, But the day of doom shall be the end of this time and the beginning of the immortality for to come. See, we're looking for immortality. All right. Uh, it says, When corruption is past, intemperance is at an end, infidelity is cut off, righteousness is grown, and truth is sprung up. All right. It says, then shall no man be able to save him that is destroyed, nor to oppress him that have gotten the victory. All right. So, you know, this time is short. All right. You saw Edom ain't going to be able to look at that eating ham. Ah, oh, shit. It's wicked. They're like this fashion of this world passing away. You got a Jake right here eating, eating ham, you know, on uh Jimmy Kimmel, smoke baby pony. All right, but that's what, that's what I'm saying. Corruption is past. The fashion of this world is going to pass away. All right, and the time is short. You got Big Shirley. He's interviewing a Big Shirley. She's taking a a piece of the uh, ham and eating it. Man, this is wickedness, man. It's just a Big Shirley, a, a fat black Big Shirley. She spit it out of her mouth. But, uh, you know, just seeing this wickedness, man, it's coming to an end, you know. Ain't nobody going to be eating pork in the kingdom. The fashion of this world passes away, all right. But with that, call her Lord, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai, Bashim, Rakakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation to you brothers pushing this word in truth and sincerity. Until the next video, Shalom.